to announce that the the 500 goal legend Stephen Milne and David Armitage are going to join us on the line. How are you, boys? Good boys, Great yourself. Boys. Now, Milne, I've gone on record this morning uh, over Lee Matthews, over Kevin Bartlett and over Peter Dacos that you're the best small forward that's ever played the game. How do you feel about that? Yeah, thanks, Corf. Um, <laughs> no, uh, to have them, uh, my name alongside their names is, uh, yeah, it's a bit, uh, a bit weird, actually. But um, uh, to get it over and done with and, more importantly, to have the win was a great effort. Milne, what do you get for kicking 500 goals? Do you get a cake today in front of the boys? What happens? Uh, they've... Uh, <laughs> Boys have been with me about this uh, footy all day. I had to hand a few of them out uh, last night. So the club have made a footy and hopefully we can sell a few. And, um, yeah, it looks OK. <laughs> and David, uh, you're playing the best football of your career at the moment. 28 disposals last night. And we spoke to Lenny Hayes after the game in Triple M. And he said when you're up and running in the middle, you're a real barometer of their side. Yeah, well, uh, I uh, started off the first game. It wasn't a real great game. But uh, since then, I've sort of... Stepped up a little bit, and um, you know, when I'm when I'm up and going in the midfield, then uh, and play my role. I mean, it, it helps the team out, and we uh, we uh, move forward. So um, yeah, not going too bad, but it's about consistency now, and I just got to keep improving each week. Milne, have you got to the bottom of the Bo Wilkes substitution? Uh, he kicked uh, three goals, looked like one of the most dangerous fours on the ground, and uh, didn't look too happy when he got uh, subbed off in that third quarter. Yeah, Wilkes, he was great last night. He's been in some really good form in the VFL and, um, you know, he had an awesome year last year under, at Claremont under um, Simon McPhee and come across. Lost about six, seven kilos in the pre-season and to kick three and take four or five contested marks is a real great effort and um, I think after he kicked that goal, Scott was trying to keep him on, so a bit of a blunder, but, um, you know, what's right for the team, Dean and Polo come on and won some contested ball and got it going forward, so... Um, he did his job as well. Uh, Jordy McKenzie did a real good job on uh, Brendan Goddard last night. Kept BJ to 15 disposals. But <laughs> was it spoken about after the game, the fact that BJ didn't get a lot of support from the other midfielders? He looked like he was battling uh, Jordy McKenzie one out all night. Uh, that's probably one thing that we're trying to work on is, you know, trying to help Nick Del Sano, Lenny and BJ um, getting tagged. And you, you do speak about it before the game, but once you're actually out there, uh, it is kind of hard to run, you know, 100 metres and stuff. So... It's probably more the midfielders to try and get around him and support him. And, um, you know, a couple of times BJ got frustrated last night, but he's such an important player to us, and um, I'm sure he'll bounce back from that next week. Hey, Dave, it must be great to have Lenny Hayes there, mate, and uh, just to learn off. Mate, he's sensational. Um, I mean, when he kicked that goal last night, when he sold a bit of candy, <laughs> um, it lifted the whole side, and it was, you know, it was almost a sealer, or well, probably was a sealer, to uh, get us over the line. So. Um, he always steps up when we need him to and um, when we don't need him to, he's always there as well. He's, he's the engine room and uh, he's the Rolls Royce and uh, he did an exceptional job last night. So, We're just watching um, some of the highlights yeah. at the moment, boys. We're watching you kick a goal in the oh. third quarter, Milne. Melbourne were really good last night. I mean, they, they came into the game and they'd been pretty ordinary all year, but they won the contested possessions. They had 102 tackles, which would really please Mark Neal. They also won the clearances. So when you look at those stats, boys, you'd probably be happy with just the four points at the end of the night. Most people going into the game thought you'd win comfortably, but looking at those stats, you'd be really happy with the four points. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, um, going into the game, we knew it was going to be tough. They hadn't had a win. Um, we knew that this would, you know, they would uh, want to try and beat us. And, and they came out from the start and their pressure was amazing. Uh, they cracked in probably harder than us in the first, in the first half, I thought. And then once the weather <coughs> set in, um, the conditions really suit their sort of game. So it was always going to be tough. But we went in half time, got a good old spray and, and, and had to deliver on the contested ball. And in the second half, we sort of matched them in that. And, uh, and got away with it. So, yeah, it was, we're happy with the four points, but, um, you know, we, need, we still need to improve our contested ball, but um, all credit to Melbourne. They were fantastic last night. David, also to you, uh, Jaron Geary is a player who's been in and out of the side. But under Scott Waters, he's been given roles down back and last night played on Aaron Davey, and, and his football has gone from strength to strength under Scott Waters this year. Mate, he has. He's, uh, his confidence is growing every week, and, um, you know, he didn't have a massive night on the stats last night, but... To play on Davy and shut him down, who's one of their, you know, real key players, was uh, was such a fantastic job. And um, you know, even Clint Jones on Maloney early, he, he uh, Jones got under their Jones got under the radar a little bit. But um, you know, uh, yeah, Gears was fantastic last night and really shut down the dangerous guy in Davy. And Milne, uh, Nick Del Santo lowered his colours to uh, Ryan Crowley last week, but uh, really hit back last night. And when he plays well, you, more often than not, you win. 
Yeah, he did. He's uh, been under the pump of old Crowley the last few days, hasn't he? A few tweets flying around. Um, but uh, yeah, Dale was good last night when he's, uh, you know, in and under getting the ball. And he's a bit disappointed he didn't kick that one late in the last quarter when it got smothered. But he's such a good ball user for us. And, you know, we talk about barometers for our side. And, you know, I think he had 32 or 33 possessions last night. And them conditions is a great effort. And, you know, to come second in the brown line, we just keep needing Dale to keep playing good footy. And when Dale's playing good footy, the Saints are playing good footy. So... Hopefully, we can continue that for the rest of the season. Yeah, and from Melbourne's point of view, uh, it was it was a really good effort. Four quarters. I know we've been at them. Uh, conditions probably suited the way they wanted to play last night, but um, it was a good four quarter effort. Gives the supporters a bit of hope, the players a bit of confidence, and moving forward, uh, it's all very good. Nathan Brown, you've picked something out from the match. Oh. Yeah, we've spoken about Melbourne a couple of times this year and their lack of intensity and setting up wrong in the structures. I thought last night. 102 tackles, they won the clearances and the contested footy. I reckon it was a mindset last night. They set up in the in the correct positions. Just want to show you one one stoppage in particular that I want, I want to show you now. As a midfielder, you want to get the, uh, the, the main position where you think you can win the ball. We freeze it here. Have a look at all the Melbourne players pushing the St Kilda players towards the boundary. All five of them. Here's the only one. There's a little bit of separation, but they're all pushing them towards the boundary. They want the ball to land in here at the feet of Jamar so then they can take the ball away. As we see the stoppage, really good position from all those five Melbourne players. The ball comes inside where Melbourne win it and they go away from there. Now, if they had have had this for the first four or five games of the year, they mightn't be in the position they're in. But last night, something clicked for the Melbourne midfielders and their clearances were a lot better. Oh, beautiful. Well done, uh, Brownie, Nate. very good. Give us your votes, Brownie. Uh, I gave uh, eight or seven to Nick Del Sano last night, eight, eight to Lenny Hayes, seven to Nathan Jones, and the job Geordie McKenzie did on uh, Brennan Goddard was fantastic. I gave him seven also. And uh, congratulations once again to Stephen Milne, 500 goals. Melbourne played Geelong next week. St Kilda got Hawthorne and then Carlton West Coast. So three massive games coming up for the Saints. Uh, thanks for coming on, boys. Damon Armady there and Stephen Milne. Hey, Milne, uh, Simon O'Donnell's our host oh. here on the panel, a former St Kilda legend. Is there a picture of Simon O'Donnell anywhere down there at the club? There is actually, Bill. It's actually <laughs> next to uh, Trevor Barker, oh. one of our famous players. So uh, Trevor Barker, number one player at St Kilda, and Simon O'Donnell, number two, I think. So yeah. well, um, we have to touch his. Uh, we have to touch the photo every time we run out onto the ground. It's a bit of inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of players down there at St Kilda at the moment do some of the work that Simon O'Donnell used to do? <laughs> oh, not many, not many. He's one in a million, old Simon. He's he's, he's one in a million. <laughs> no wonder there's not a lot of people that like you, Milne. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, thanks for joining us. Uh, great to give us your time this afternoon. I think down at Frankston, uh, uh, Auskick Kit Clinic down there this morning. Yeah, Auskick Super Clinic. All the kids had a ball, so uh, we're wrapping up now and go home for a quiet afternoon and watch the Hawks and you know hopefully beat them next weekend. Thanks for your time uh, this morning, fellas. And you won't be getting paid for that because all the Auskick money's gone to Croft as their new yeah. oh, ambassador. Yeah. Good to have you on, fellas. I saw, uh, I saw